Yes, you beat him, yes, 20 to zero. Yes, sir. A little bit of nervousness about playing the same team twice? No, no, not this time. A, a lot of times dealing with kids this age and their parents, they get a little bit cocky, even if you play a team once. Okay. But we alleviate that problem. Last time we played them last year, we played them three times. And, you know, parents get real cocky, don't want to practice. But this year, everyone showed up every practice. Everybody was ready to go. And the parents, their mindset, and the players, they're ready to go. Now, this stuff is going to air on Wednesday night. Yes. But you can let people know right now, some of the things that you're expecting to happen out of this team, what can we see from this Rebels team? What we're going to see is we're going to pitch another shutout. And this time, we're going to be flying on all cylinders. We're a full squad. Everyone that was hurt is back. We got all our players. The practice went good. The mentality is ready. And like I said, if we do half of what we do, we'll win by 20. Okay. If we do everything we got to do, we'll win by 40. Mm. Here we go. This team has a star study. A lot of kids, these kids have been playing together. This man has had these kids for over two years. The majority of them. We offer eight or nine of them to come and play in the CC Top Prospect game. Probably the most we ordered off, offered off any 8U team across the state of Texas. And you'll be able to see why. Some of these kids right here standing in front of us right now, some kids that were offered, some of them declined it because they're going to stay with their team, and others have accepted it. But we're going to go right now to some of our players. They're going to introduce themselves and tell you what position they play. My name is Zane Good. I play running back and linebacker. My name is Brandon Castle. I play running back. My name is Jalen Booster. I play running back and defense uh, end. My name is Kenneth Sykes, and I play cornerback and tight end. All right. Most people who know the, know the Army team know about Jalen Brewster. Coach, he's one of the biggest backs you're going to see in 8U level. But don't get it mistaken like this guy's a fullback. This guy lines up and dots the eye yes, and actually goes 70 numerous times throughout the season. Now, many people say how big you are, you're going to grow out of this position. But right now, in your eyes, what position are you? No doubt about it. When you see when you, when you see an uh, opposing player right there in front of you, what's your mindset? When you see him right there in front of you trying to come tackle you, what, what do you think about it? Chuck it. Does Chuck it mean run him over? <laughs> oh, tell me. I don't know if y'all can really see how big this kid is at eight years of age. He's a true eight, right, he's Coach? A true not eight. No, he's a true yeah. eight. We're going to talk to a couple guys right here. This guy played eight U football and won a championship last year with DFW Lee. And Coach Fred Robinson talks high about this kid, about his tenacity on both sides of the ball. Tell me today, you guys already played against the Soaring Eagles. Did you sleep well last night? Yes, sir. You had a good rest. Do you have any kind of nervous? Are you nervous at all about anything today? You ready to go? See, what happened was he was injured the first time. They didn't. They haven't him. even faced him. They haven't even seen. Him. They haven't even seen him. So then he's ready to go. Folks, we're going to come back with more. We're going to show you this Rebels team. We're going to actually walk over there and show you the rest of the goons. They're laced with goons. I'm telling you guys right there, you might say it's biased because I'm in Dallas and this is a DFW team. But after seeing this team play today, you'll see why. Many say this is the number one team in the 8U division across the whole great state of Texas. 
I'm Courtney Jackson, CCE Game Day, and I'm followed with right now with the with the Southwest Rebels Army. They got two AU teams. I gotta I gotta have a distinction <laughs> by saying Army, folks. Look at the gear and look at the faces. All right, all right, here we go. All right, fellas, let's go, let's go. Here we go. Here we go.
Here we go, we're going to tie. Punch and fire. Give it to him. Keep the yard tennis added on to the ground. On the net. Pull it back. Down 32 yards. Oh, he takes a snap. Oh, good tap. Oh, right by the knee. Good tap. Look at that. He's caught. Let me look at that. And he can't. He can't release it.
Here we go. Second and ten. Ball on the floor. The motion play. Oh, we got the top. He cuts up. Oh, what a hit. Oh, we got a flag on the play, though. Flag on the play. A legal shift. That's what it looked like, I think. A legal shift on the offense. Before he walked into the car. I think I know it. A legal shift on the offense. Clear is the crime. Third. Third team. He goes to set. Draw play. He gets up the middle. He drops. Gang of uh, three. Fourth down coming up. She said, you know who I am. He takes a snap. Draw play. He goes to the middle. He takes a snap. Lead play. He pops that side. He's trying to get to the outside. Can he get that? He gets an edge. Oh! We got an inch clear. Everybody on one knee, fellas. One knee. One knee. Oh, he's okay. He's a warrior. Is he okay? He makes sure everybody's sick. He's on the center. Here we go. He takes a snap. Oh, for all the play. Number one picks it up. Oh, and he's got before a long. There's the ball. I mean, that was second and one. Went back to third and five. Okay. Take the snap. Lead play. Draw it. There you go. Oh, flag on the play. He got the first down, but hold up. Let's see what the flag is. Hold in. Outfit. Ten yard period. Repeat third down. He takes a step. Fake the drop. Oh, here he goes. Oh, he's trying to get to the outside. Can he get that? Oh! A bang up. Six. Pusha right here. Pusha down. Fourth and eight. It's going to do, coach. He takes a snap. He rolls. Nothing more. No game. Seven to ten coming up. He takes a snap. I mean, this is an interesting game right here. Game to one. 39 coming up. Clock running. Five minutes is running. Five minutes. So we crown a champion and see who's going to Austin Tower of Defense. Here we go. 38. Shotgun. He takes a snap. He passes the ball. Oh! Oh! Overthrow. Fourth down. Fourth and eight. Coming up. I want to see you right here. Shotgun. He takes a step. Number one, on the carry. Oh, good guy. Game three. That was a false start there. Time out. Time out. Soar Eagle. Here we go. He takes a step. He's playing. Number one, he hits the hole. He's going. He's running. A game of five. Time out. Third and one. We got a big third and one. Mm -hmm. Jamie in the backfield. He takes a step. Quarterback sees. Oh, he's got the miss. And he's just. Oh, he's going. He's got the miss. Whatever, 
back up. Yes, sir. I got that part. Oh, point of that seat. Oh, CCE Game Day. We're at Bishop Lynch High School, and I'm standing here with the North Texas United champions of the 8U division, the Southwest Rebels Army. Give it up, give it up, give it up. We want to first start out by giving thanks to the president, Lynn Miller, of the whole league, and then we want to give thanks to all the parents. They put a lot of hours in, sacrificing, buying shirts, buying apparel, going here, going there, doing a whole bunch, supporting their kids, and it paid off. Because this team is the number one team in the CCE coaches poll. We're going to talk to some of the players of the game. We're going to talk to Coach Rodney Thornton. We're going to find out what's next for next week. This is a bad team, folks. I'm telling y'all, Houston, Texas, be ready for them. San Antonio, be ready for them. Austin, Texas, be ready for them. This man will go on the road and go anywhere to face the best. Yes, sir. He's not content on just staying in Dallas, Texas and just defending a title. He says, 
He's gonna beat his chest. Eight and mile Giants. We beat you last year. We're coming this year. This time on a neutral field. No talking. So we want you. You know we beat you. Quit lying about you undefeated. We got that butt in Gulfport, Mississippi. We will get you in Fort Lauderdale. So, as, as I've said before, and we talked in the pregame, we told you guys that that, 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 that Soaring Eagles team was a good team. Very good. They only lost to one team, and that was a team that was just better than them on both occasions. Now, we're going to talk about this Rebels team and some of the top prospects. I told everybody, CCE invited a slew of these players to come and play an All-Star game, but this, game, this team is entrenched together. Some of them won't be able to make it to that All-Star game. We're going to talk to one of the top-ranked kids, or top-touted kids, one of the biggest backs in all of Texas for eight years. We're going to start it off by talking to Mr. Brewster. Now, they were calling you Jaden. They were calling you Jalen. They were calling you everything. Tell the world what your name is. Jalen Brewster. Jalen Brewster. And you know it's like 75 different ways of spelling Jalen now, right? Like A-N, E-N, all kind of stuff. Now, you're running the ball today. You're in the eye. It's not college. Y'all running a college formation, coach. You're giving the ball to this boy yeah. seven yards deep yeah. in the back. Oh, I played ball in the 80s. We bang. And, coach, he was All able to spread stuff is for little boys. We big boys and we bang. But so often, coach, you see today in today's game, you see backs that want to go left and right and show their shoulder pads. Yeah. This guy shows the rebel to everybody. Yes, he runs sir. downhill. Yes, sir. He has vision. Yes, sir. He has vision of a little scat back. Yes, Tell me about your vision. Where'd you learn that from? My dad? Your dad. Your dad just gave it to you. <laughs> there it is. Tell me about your yeah, dad. What, 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 Tell him your coach you thought you don't be scared. <laughs> now, in the game, in the, in the game, everybody knew you were going to be a focal point of their offense. But that didn't stop you. You ran the ball really, really hard all day, totaling almost 84 yards from the scrimmage today. Tell me, how did it feel making that long touchdown run today? Good. Feel good. He's a man of... Few words. He gets you right to the point. We're gonna roll on over here to the quarterback, coach. Hi, bye. I don't know who made the call. I'm gonna ask you that right now. They were calling their timeout. Yes. It's third and two. It's pretty much for the game. You guys get a first down. You seal the game. What was the conversation in the huddle? Told him just run north and south. If he run north and south, he'll break it. I almost saw this kid. It felt like to me he was trying to stay in bounds. Yes. Or maybe he was trying to score the touchdown. He's trying to score. He's trying to score a touchdown. Okay, great. <laughs> so, so tell me this. He kind of answered the question for me. When you got the ball and you were down and you were running and you had one guy to beat, were you thinking about just falling down in bounds to kill the clock or were you thinking about scoring the touchdown? Scoring the touchdown. That's all on your mind, right? Yeah. All on your mind. Tell everybody your name. Ty Bias. Ty Bias, the quarterback. They say as the quarterback goes, the team goes. Coach, is this, is, this your, is this your leader of your team? That's the leader of the team. It goes by him. He the quarterback on the field. He makes the adjustments. He makes the audibles. He calls it on whatever it's going to go on. Now, you guys haven't been scored on all season. Am I correct on that? Or one time? Yeah, one time. One, one time. time. One time being scored on. Yeah. 19 and 0 on the season. Yes, sir. Folks, in Dallas, Texas, they play football. Yes, sir. Whenever the end of July happens, they're playing games every each and every weekend. Yes, sir. To only be scored on one time is something serious. Tell me your defensive coach. Right here, Mr. Phillips. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. They got a back over there. I don't know if he plays back or receiver. Yes. He's shifty. He's shifty. He got a little something on him. <laughs> All week, were you guys talking about stopping him, or what, what, what was y'all emphasis going into this week? Uh, man, basically, man, all we was prepared for, man, today is to, you know, hit him in the backfield. Everything has to be consumed in the backfield. We know if we didn't let him get out, everything would be good. Now, we got a guy over here who was one of your defensive MVPs today That's in the game, it. right? That's it. Tell everybody your name, son. Jamel Lockett. Jamel yeah. Lockett. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Jamel. We average, we average. The most we've had was a bye. On, on the views of this was 5,500 people viewed this in two days in the game. We're going to try to break that this week. Hopefully you get your teacher to watch. Do you have any teacher that you want to give a shout out to? They might give you an extra grade right now. You have any teacher that you want to say hello to? Hello. You don't have you on? Say that teacher name. Mr. Hernandez. That's smart. That's smart. Is that your lowest grade right now in the class? No. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll work on that, Pat. We'll work. Well, 92 can go to 100 that's if you give him a it, shout out. It. So, Coach, tell me what happens next. Well, next for us, we will be at Regionals in Deer Creek. 
Cedar Park. Cedar Park. Cedar Park. Cedar Park, and we'll be down there defending that. And then we got an all cities tournament that all the teams that want some been running from us can't hide. Are so we're taking are the top 12 in each are division. Are you guys the ones throwing this tournament? No, actually, uh, it's another group of guys that's giving it because, you know, Facebook makes heroes out of everybody. Well, say this on air, on air so everybody who think they got, they want yeah. some, tell them where they can go to get this. Uh, December 9th and 10th, we will be at DeSoto UHL Meadowbrook Fields. It's, it's free to all to get in that want some. Now, we're only looking for the top 12. If you don't come, get your butt off Facebook line. Because right now, this is the last of the season. All Super Bowl's over with. Want some?